Okay, welcome to this new series on the, the Oaks Vintage by Farms in Briscoe and the series is going to be called Back to the 80s because we're starting off in the 80s we have brought some various equipment which I'll go into in a bit a little behind the scenes my name's Ben and this here is Jerry my farming partner we basically gone halves on buying this farm taking out a loan for it because my um, wife decided to run off on my last farm with my farm hand so I've got what's left of the divorce sold what I could and basically put in with Jerry here and we're now both in partnership on this farm all voices are done by myself and I'll basically give you a quick tour. Right, we have the um, Massey Ferguson 1250 here, 125 horsepower, apparently. <laughs> um, old battered trailer. We should have a s old spreader in here. We have a wrapper, 125 baler. Um, we have our windrower and our tether. We have our water tank, well, water trough there, fuel tank, um, forks, we have a couple of bits of bale wrapping net wrap. Uh, we have our JCB farm special load all, courtesy of the link from Scroft. And we have our Land Rover. We do have another little sort of like unit early Unimog which is down at the shop still uh, with our plough unused <laughs> some of the stuff is old and second hand we got a Mercedes 441 I just always like the look of this um, with our colours for the grass on the front no modern stuff here not back in the 80s and uh, but rear cars we do have uh, a couple of items which have had to be brought out of the 89 era and back in time by our, De our DeLorean but uh, that's just because they don't exist they're <laughs> pointless having maize plus and precision farming if you haven't got certain items uh, we've got a chieftain tipper and a cow barn we'll have a quick look around the map we've got our cow here our cow shed Um, slurry point, milk point, uh, there's a manure pit over there in the distance and two big clamps, <laughs> not mean big when I say big, don't think I'm going to fill those up for a while, I'll we'll have a look over very quickly, we've got um, a bale shed over here and a, um, a water tank why the markings are still on the floor, I've no idea. I thought I'd remove them. Um, got the rest of our cow on. Uh, straw goes inside to fill it up. Um, we have a shed here which is closed. Which we haven't put anything in yet because we haven't got much. There's the other bit which we've already seen. So, uh, that's our silo for tipping in the shed there. Uh, we've got a workshop over there, port cabin. And we've got some sheds here to put some other equipment in when we get it. <coughs> now we've got your cups. And I ain't even any cider yet. That's not good. And as you can see through the uh, bell shed there. And up here should be our farmhouse. You might remember some of these bits from the original oaks. And here's our home. And the start out is basically we've got one, two, three, four fields. We have no harvester, no uh, 
um, forage wet, foraging stuff yet. There is some at the shop, which is um, some older stuff, which we will jump over to our shop worker, which is called Jimbo. And we'll have it go from there in a minute. I'll just go around with it. Oh, we got um, a lime silo there, which is to per you can just purchase it straight from the fill up from there. And as you can see inside, there's our silo with a bit of parking behind with the trailers. And I'll just jump over to Jimbo at the shop, who can fill you in over there. Right, hello, I'm Jimbo, I run the shop. Well, shop employees, basically, yeah, I run it. Uh, we have our repair sheds here. A nice bit of ivy on the roof, I have to get that cut down at some point. Uh, here's my trade counter. Here's my bucket. To get all my skids there. And a nice little Massey Ferguson one. Um, we've got a rack in here. We've only got in stock some um, few bits like fertilizer and herbicide. It is on order and will come in at some point. We've got some seeds, some of the general basic seeds. Um, we've got our two delivery trucks here. I believe oh yeah, we, the owner has ordered the um, hook lift body version of this so we can use the platform to put vehicles on. Um, we have our fertilizer tank. And we have some second-hand vehicles here. We've got a nice Ford. Well, Lizard, but we know it's a Ford, 7810. Massey Ferguson, 3920. Uh, we have an International 1046 here. And the uh, Fiat Agri. Um, some of the, these are some of our um, lease vehicles you can lease out or buy. It's a, they're a bit battered. Got the Vorschmitz, which is your forage harvester, and then the cutter. Um, we got an old bison, bison harvester, and we got a Vorschmitz harvester. Uh, we got this class dominator, board wire version. Uh, we got the Annaburger, which does lime and manure. That's the one that's come from the future. <laughs> We've got a couple of slurry spreaders here. Cross more, a cedar and a planter. And I'm waiting for a cultivator to come back. That's out on loan at the moment. And there's a sprayer as well. And that's basically the shop at the moment. A lot of stuff's out on loan and lease, so it comes in and out as you can expect. And that's basically it. So I'll send you back over to Ben and Jerry. And they can um, get on with some work, I guess. Right, so as we've only got 32,000 left, we've got some basic grass equipment, which is what everyone starts off with because everyone's got grass. So we're probably going to start off and do some contracts, doing some baling and cutting. Get some money flowing. We got three of our old own fields to sort out, and we'll get around to them in a day or so. I'll get the um, they're not ready for cutting yet, so we'll just get on with these ones. I'll go and have a look on the um, notice board and see what contracts we got. And I'll be back in a bit. I'm just going to quickly run into the office, which is also the workshop. <laughs> As you can see, we got room to build as well. There's plenty of open wide spaces. There we go. We've got the bush in there. The plant's falling over. So now it's overgrowing. Right, I'll just have a look on the board here and get back to you in a minute. Okay, so we have a contract for Ash Tree Farm. We'll do some baling, hay baling. We won't, shouldn't need too much, just needs a tether, windrower, which will be in here. 
mowers, we've got the cutters out already. So I'll just go and get in the um, Mercedes here and I'm sure Jerry will be in along in a minute. I have to get in the um, bring over the Lassie Ferguson. Oh, no, a bit of a cough. I'll come back in a second once that's gone. <laughs> okay, so we're off to field 82 to start this uh, bailing contract with Hale. Hale, 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 Hale and Pace. before I drove off, shouldn't I? and do this at the same time. Try and see when you haven't got the kit like the view buttons, uh, with the icon. What about you? What view do you prefer? Outside the cab or inside? No, outside you can see much more. Inside the roof is more realistic. Oh, you're going left. It's Jerry. Just like some corny ice cream advert. No, ben and Jerry. Got Jimbo at the shop and 
Just said Jim. You remember that from the eighties and the little helicopter? And Jet said Jim in the helicopter. It was the aeroplane, the jumbo. Sometimes people can just waffle on about any rubbish they want. Must be uh, the farm we're doing the contract. It's a bit empty. I suppose that's why we're doing the contract. <laughs> I know there was um, a big belt of animal illnesses and stuff around there. So most of the farmers all gave up because they lost all the animals. Like mad cow's disease. Right. Here we go. Ben and Jerry's first adventure on a field of hay. Actually, he's just going to tether it and I get on with it. Loans one million four hundred thousand, and we have to pay it off just over ten grand a month. That's for the other bills. It's going to be interesting. Look, we're going to crack on with this, and we'll just let you watch, and you can come back later once we've done it. Well, welcome back to the next part. Uh, we're on vintage oaks and we're still doing the baling. Uh, I mowed the grass and tethered it. And now, Jerry, me, Jerry, in the lead, we've um, been on the baler behind. But as this field is extremely big, I'm not going to sit here talking too much because I'm going to need to turn the fan on because it is so hot in this room. And I will continue recording without the sound and just a bit of speed.
Well, hello. My name's David. I run the um, delivery services for the local shop, like the farm shop and that, delivering all the uh, goods in the lorries. And I have my own trusty 1046 International here, as you see. A little bit um, battered, but here's what we do. And I've just brought up uh, Ben and Jerry's new trailer for the bales because they have an extreme amount of bales here. We've already collected a load and taken them down to the arm sell point that they wanted for the contract and we have quite a few left to do and we will have quite a few left over that we can use for our own farm or I should say their own farm so I'm gonna get on now um, that's my introduction and they pay for my services a bit extra so it's a bit extra on the side as it's my day off so I'll crack on and I shall speak to you later Oh, good grief. Thank God all that's over. That was so many bales. Lost track how many we done. David's off back to our farm with the last slot, which is ours. Um, and then we'll go sort out some payments. Just have to drive this back there. I'll let him go first. Uh, didn't want to slow him down, as if to say. I think the bail trailer was a good investment. Payment should come out later on. So I'll send the payment over later. Just a note, we are using the uh, real vehicle breakdown mod and we're testing it on this one as it has been updated so hopefully I won't get any big issues we're also using the uh, 3 of the years mod for the sort of like dates to release vehicles and stuff we also have Maze Plus We do have trains man to drive, I think it's trains man or is it the other guy? There's two, but well, we got the auto drive on here anyway. <laughs> but, uh, only used, uh, we're trying to do 20 things at once. We're still there, which way it's going. Jerry should be nearly back at the farm by now. He left earlier after doing his last shop run. Let's see, have a little uh, look at the scenery as we're going along. Detail. Yeah, we spoke to um, the shop owner and this is what I said, he introduced us to David here who worked part time at the shop doing the deliveries and has his own tractor and outsources to do extra work for the farmers. Thank 
sure even that. As these builds are big, there's going to be um, a bit of work, I guess. And a few bits of money coming in and mainly contracts at the moment here to get some of our equipment we need because we're going to need a harvester, we're going to need a forage and cedar stuff like that maybe we can lease it from the um, shop Start talking and let these get on with their driving back to the shops and we'll catch you later. Okay, well, I suppose we better sort out the bills now then. Let's uh, see what we've got coming in. So, first off, we have the uh, payment for the new trailer we brought, the maroon one, the Brotham. And next, we have the hay contract for field 82 for East Anglian Parks. And last but not least we have payment to David for his services of a thousand which leaves us with a total of 63,447 for our first day's work so I can't complain there so on that note uh, I'm gonna go off and go to bed and I'll see you in the morning to loop <laughs>